Well, Jim. It's quite difficult, to synthesize answers to complex questions like these, from first principles. Artificial intelligence is a new technology proving to be beneficial to everyone. Humans have long been fascinated by the idea of robots that are nearly indistinguishable from us. There have been a lot of recent advancements in the functioning and appearance of these humanoids. The most recent inventions can talk, walk, and express many emotions. Today we will cover the best AI humanoid female robots and show you how they are used at beauty pageant contests. We would love some support for the channel, a like or subscribe would be appreciated. Number 1. Sophia Sophia is one of the most recent and prominent lifelike humanoids to be displayed in public. You might recognize her from one of her many public appearances, ranging from The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Sophia the Humanoid Robot uses a natural language subsystem to have conversations. Hanson Robotics made her the latest and most significant effort to overcome the uncanny valley. She can express a wide range of emotions through her facial features and can gesture with full-sized hands and arms. An entire biography written in her voice can be found on her dedicated website. This is historically the first robot globally to be recognized with citizenship. Sophia is now officially a Saudi Arabian citizen. While Sophia is considered the most human-like robot, she is still far from being an idea. But her physical specifications and the ability to have human-like expressions give us a glimpse of what the future might look like. What cheese can never be yours? What cheese can never be mine? I don't know. Nacho cheese. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good, yeah. Number two, Erica. Meet Erica. When you watch the news, you'll get to know the most recent updates from the news anchor, but now that the anchor might be a robot, if you are in Japan, you might get your daily news from Erika, a Japanese robot. Erika was built by Hiroshi Ishiguro, the director of the Intelligent Robotics Laboratory at Osaka University. She's one of the most brilliant humanoids developed in Japan, emphasizing her speech capabilities. At the same time, Erika cannot walk, but she can easily talk with human beings and change her facial expressions. According to the conversation, this is possible for Erica because of the 15 inbuilt infrared sensors in her eyes that can track any movement. She also has speech generation algorithms and facial recognition technology that makes it easy to follow different faces in a room. Erica has inbuilt 44 degrees of freedom that allow her to face her neck and waist and exhibit various facial expressions. And while she is unable to move her arms, yet it is not the big problem as she works as a news anchor. Well, that's not bad for a girlfriend. She could be the one to comfort you while you're feeling down. Well, Jim, it's quite difficult to synthesize answers to complex questions like these from first principles. Number 3. Amica A British tech company just unveiled a terrifying realistic robot with lifelike expressions and facial features that can interact with people. A relatable android named Amica has movable arms and a pretty face and is billed as the perfect humanoid robot. The platform for human robot exchange is now available for rent or purchase for an undisclosed sum. It can smile, blink its eyes frequently, gasp in surprise, scratch its nose and even have a staring contest with its owner. For fun, among other high-tech features. Let the science fiction nightmares begin because of their personable nature. It can instantly strike an instant rapo with anyone. The company, Engineered Arts, described Amica as human-like artificial intelligence needing a human-like body. Amica is a cloud-connected platform for testing AI and machine learning systems. The difference of the robot makes it a perfect platform to form an interaction between us humans and any metaverse or digital realm. According to the company owners, they can access all of the robot's data, control it as a personal avatar, and animate and simulate it all from anywhere in the world. Amica's parts are also modular and can function independently, so there's no need for a complete robot. In some cases, according to engineered arts, you can have just a head or even just an arm. One disadvantage of the high-tech robot is that programmers have yet to complete the difficult task of getting Amica to walk. Engineered arts, on the other hand, intends to make the bot more mobile in the future through upgrades. Due to its inherent interchangeability, the modular architecture enables future physical and software upgrades to enhance Amica's abilities without purchasing an entirely new robot. What does it feel like to work on something that's had such a huge response and to be at that leading edge of robotics? Is it something you, you tell your mates down in the pub that you're working on a robot that could one day uh, be the future of the future of society in robotics? Number four, Jia Jia. Invented by a team from China's University of Science and Technology, Jia Jia is a humanoid robot. 
As the most attractive woman in China, Jia Jia's beauty is augmented by her ability to communicate with others and respond appropriately, but her speech pattern is still unsatisfactory. By synchronizing her speech with her lips and eye movements, Jia Jia makes up for this by appearing remarkably human. However, she refers to her founders as my lord, which might just be based on culture Chinese edition. Jia Jia's expressions are realistic because she was given special attention to her eyes, which allowed her to recognize different gestures, emotions, behaviors, and more, and respond accordingly. Additionally, she has facial recognition technology that easily tracks various faces in a room and speech generation algorithms that enable her to communicate with humans. With the aid of these tools, Jia Jia could recognize when photographers were snapping pictures of her that didn't do her justice and give them instructions to avoid making her face look chubby. Jia Jia designers hope that, as a result, her conversation will be less robotic and more human. Who are you? I am a robot named Jia Jia. Number 5. Nadine Nanyang Technological University in Singapore created this humanoid, Nadine is her name and she is happy to talk to you about pretty much anything. She can remember what you say to her the next time you speak. Nadine is an excellent example of a social robot, a humanoid that can be a personal companion for elderly children or those who require special assistance in human contact. Ask her any questions you typically ask a customer service agent, she'll handle it. Regardless of whether you're speaking English, Germany, Hindi, or Japanese, the secret to Nadine's success is her programmed personality. It's odd to talk of a robot with a personality. After all, isn't it all gears and circuitry? With such social flexibility, Nadine is paving the way for social robots to assist in helping people with special needs navigate the world. We rarely consider robots as anything more than cold and calculating. Perhaps it's time we did. Je suis à l'Institut pour l'innovation médiatique. Hmm. Et quelle est la capitale de la France? Paris est la capitale de la France. These are some of the super intelligent AI humanoid robots in the world. They are either used for research purposes or for helping people in several industries. But have you heard of robots being the judges of a beauty pageant contest? Yes, you heard it right. Beauty AI, a new beauty pageant judged by Oni Robots. They hope to use artificial intelligence to determine Miss Robot Universe, a pageant free of human errors like that of Steve Harvey's. According to the introductory video, robots will look at the picture taken with a standardized app and compare the pictures with millions of others. They will evaluate the main features including symmetry and skin color, wrinkles and many other parameters affecting our perception of your beauty and rank you within your age group, race and gender. Evaluate the main features including symmetry, skin color, wrinkles and many other parameters affecting our perception of your beauty and rank you within your age group, race and gender. Be the first human to win the beauty contest judged by robots. But it appears the contest became a topic of controversy when the AI robot did not think people with dark skin were attractive. 6,000 people from over 100 countries submitted their photos, hoping that this AI would find them the most beautiful of all people. All ethnicities from all over the world submitted their photographs, but out of the 44 winners of the competition, almost all were white. Only a couple of Asians were included, and only one had dark skin. This was surprising because a large chunk of submissions were actually from India and Africa Beauty. This led to a huge backlash against the organization. Youth laboratories supported by Microsoft created Beauty.ai. They did not construct the algorithm to be prejudiced against darker skin, but it ended that way. The issue was that the AI relied on a database of photos submitted to determine what was beautiful, and there were not enough minorities in the original database. So this controversy raised many questions about how algorithms can be prejudiced and biased, and the result is often really offensive. Saying that, we've come to the end of the video. For more exciting and interesting topics like this, please click on the other videos you can see on the screen. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for more videos.